Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday morning and yesterday was Saturday and it was a project day. And you can see behind me my wife and Andrew built a raised flower bed, but since we had difference of opinions uh, on how to build it, I just stepped aside and let him have it and it actually honestly it turned out pretty good. So let's just follow along and let, let's look at the raised flower bed. So you see they built the bed, it's 4x4 four four in size, it's built out of 1x6 cedar and there's 2 by 4s in the corner to hold it together. And it's elevated off the ground uh, 3 one by 6s high, so that's 6 to 18 inches high. And that way you don't have to bend over as far. It's got wire in the bottom of it to keep critters from falling through the bottom of the ground. And, you know, filled with uh, topsoil and uh, garden soil and potting mix and cow manure. So let's get ready to wash the plant and plant our vegetables. finished planting this monster of a garden. Uh, she's just got three zinnia flowers in there just to add some color. Uh, you see the one lone plant there is a sweet banana pepper. And I say the lone plant because out of the three of us that live in this house, she's the only one that eats peppers. And she, wants to, she don't want to be in the camera, but then she gets in the camera. And there are three rows of sweet uh, cherry tomatoes, sweet 100 cherry tomatoes. And there's uh, three plants of uh, Berkless cucumbers, and then two rows of red potatoes. Because we eat a lot of potatoes, we eat a lot of cucumbers, and we eat a lot of tomatoes. So this is our first attempt of ever doing this. So she does have a green thumb. Uh, I honestly look for us to be building another one of these boxes within the next couple of weeks. And I mentioned Jackie's green thumb. Uh, you didn't get a chance to see my morning sermon on Facebook Live. Uh, I'd encourage you to go over there and look at it. My Facebook page is Tony Walsh. So you can look at my morning uh, sermon there. Uh, but you see these ferns. We used them as a background, as a backdrop this morning. Uh, one thing Jackie likes to do is to, to raise ferns, and you see different kinds of ferns. And she actually takes a challenge that when people kill ferns at their house, that she tries to raise them from the dead. There was actually one fern that it took her two years to get it to, to regrow. Nearly two years. I didn't put a calendar on it, but it was, it was well over a year to get it to come back to life. Because it's just one of the things she likes to do is to see if she can rejuvenate. So she's got these sitting outside you know, under the trees. That way it gets some shade, but it's getting fresh air. You can see more ferns here where Jackie and her cousin Sonia built this burglar uh, three or four years ago. See, she keeps ferns hanging in here all year long uh, to let people use for weddings, birthday parties, or whatever. She doesn't rent them out. She just uh, feels that's part of her duty to loan these out to people. Don't let the dog go away. Loan these out to people so that they can have uh, some beauty in whatever their setting may be. Uh, she keeps these out so that way they're in the shade all the time. One thing she's going to do here is try a new trick that she uh, saw in somebody's YouTube video. She doesn't remember who and I, and I didn't look. But she's going to try to grow a tomato plant in this upside down 2 liter soft drink bottle. So you can see she's cutting the bottom out. Uh, it's got holes here in the top. Uh, and we'll explain the process as we go through with it. Rid of the excess potting soil to come around the tomato plant.
Okay, you see what she's done is she's put the tomato plant through the bottom of it. Here's a cut up piece of chamois cloth that she just made in a circle and then just cut a slit in it to go around the root. And that's what's gonna help hold the dirt in to keep the dirt from just coming out the bottom. The, the idea is this tomato plant is gonna turn around and circle up and grow up around this soda bottle. As you can see, she's now filled the bottle three, three fourths full of her, her dirt concoction. And here she's just going to cut some twine and just put it through the holes. Dots in it. We still have some severe thunderstorms or severe winds and all that in the vehicle. So this is what it looks like. And let's go hang it up under the pergola. Okay, so we don't know if there's an official name for these containers or not. Uh, but you can see uh, we've got two of them hanging there on the side of the pergola, and they're better boy tomatoes. So I'll, uh, as we update you on the. Uh, raised flower bed and vegetable boxes we've got growing there. We'll give you an update on these better boy tomatoes as well. We'll see how this works out.